Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECMDF 30 day look ahead model for today's second video. Uh, we're at the Hungarian Met Office, so a big thank you to them for supplying us with these charts. We're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. That takes us in towards the uh, end of month and uh, we'll see what the ECM is predicting. Uh, not just for the UK, but for the rest of Europe as well in the month ahead. Just say that the September month, their forecast has been released. A rather mixed month. Uh, could be rather cool, actually, and a little bit changeable. So have a look at that and see what's going on later on. This afternoon, we'll have the week 10 day video update, including all of the usual features. So we're going to start off with the week one temperature anomaly. Uh, it's week 36 for the year, and we see we've got a proper east-west split across Europe this week. So most central and western parts of Europe are looking quite cool in the weekend. So from Scandinavia, you're going all the way down into uh, Poland and then down into Mediterranean. Anywhere west of that line is generally cooler than average, including the UK and Ireland. Anywhere east of that line is rather warm and particularly so kind of like north of the Black Sea up towards west of Russia that's where the warmest anomalies are through Ukraine uh, up to uh, west of Russia we see temperature anomalies there going between three and six degrees above average so it is a really warm scene in the far east and uh, northeast of Europe but many parts of central west Europe are cooler than average so most of Scandinavia is looking uh, below average with temperature anomalies between one and three degrees below average much of the UK also coming out cooler than average most of Germany the low countries and down to France below average too again the anomaly is around one to three degrees uh, below average quite widely. Into the north of Spain, also uh, cooler than average there, although down towards the southwest of Spain into Portugal, it's quite a hot week uh, coming up uh, through there. Into the central bowl of the Mediterranean, overall it's a bit on the cool side, the temperatures are struggling a little bit here from the central bowl of Med through towards Italy, and then down into the southeast of Europe around Greece and Turkey, it's a pretty warm week, that's uh, connected back to the warmer than average temperatures that we have across the east and the northeast of Europe. Precipitation wise, a real mixed bag. So uh, we've got some areas that are coming out dry, and average some areas that are coming out wetter than average. Let's start with Northern Europe. So most of Scandinavia is looking above average with precipitation, although some parts of Northern Norway are quite dry. For the UK and for Ireland, a bit of a north south split, looks wetter than average across these northern regions and drier than average further south. Down to France, it's a drier than average week coming up there, as it is for most of Spain and Portugal. Uh, the low countries up to southern Scandinavia, including Denmark, it's a bit wetter than average too there. And then for eastern parts of Germany through to western Poland, uh, try than average before you go wet and average again across eastern Poland. And then going down into the southeastern part of Europe and down to Italy. It looks pretty wet through those uh, regions. In the east, where it's warmest, it also looks like it's rather dry. So much of Greece, for example, is drier than average, up to the Black Sea, which generally on the drier than average side. And into west of Russia, looks warm and dry for those areas too. We can see where the high pressure is. It's sitting out to the west of the UK and Ireland, which is leaving us doing something a bit like that with the flow and with the jet stream. And then the showers we have around Italy probably being caused by over rain have around easy probably being caused by heavy showers and thunderstorms we go through to week two uh, week 37 for the year this is the 9th through to the 15th of september and we keep the pattern broadly going uh, really so the far east northeast of europe again warmer than average particularly so to west of russia again three to six degree anomaly above average therefore western parts of russia interesting that interesting about through the summer this was consistently the coolest area uh, across europe and now we've gone into the early autumn it's completely flipped around the pattern here and it's it's uh, much hotter than average, it's warmer than average across the west of Russia. It's turned uh, a lot cooler across central and western parts of Europe. So, the rest of Europe, well, really, it's looking cooler than average again from uh, Italy and the central basin of the Med, right way up to central parts of Europe. Again, we see temperature anomalies widely going down to one to three degrees below average. And then further northwest of that into Scandinavia and uh, Ireland and the UK and the west of France. Not quite as cool as that, but even so, still a bit below average, one 
uh, around a degree or so below average, one degree below average, really, for the far northwest of Europe. Into the Med, it's quite a cool scene. Looks fairly warm through uh, Portugal and into western parts of Spain. But east of Spain, uh, east towards the rest of the Med, generally looking quite cool until we get to it, until we get to Greece, I should say. And there, it's a little bit uh, warmer than average. Precipitation anomalies looking like this. So uh, for the southwest of Europe, it's driving average. Some parts of England and Ireland coming out driving average. Most of France down to Spain and Portugal also looking driving average there. So the ridge is building in to the southwest. But to the north of the UK, so across Scotland, probably Northern Ireland, and then Scandinavia going down through these central areas, particularly around Greece, Turkey, and going down into uh, the Balkans. We see there that we have precipitation anomalies above average. So you can kind of see what the jet stream uh, will be doing here with high pressure uh, around there, low pressure up here, and the jet will be doing something a little bit like that. Dip in the jet stream in the 500 millibar flow. Western parts of Russia looking uh, drier than average in this week. And we move through to week 38 for uh, 2019. It's uh, week three for our forecast period. The uh, signals are weakening a little bit. Uh, we still see that across um, the far east and northeast of Europe, it's a uh, bit more than average there and back into west of Russia. Otherwise, we're sort of losing that widely cooler than average signal. Um, but we're not going particularly warm. We're just going close to average or more likely no signal. Uh, at this point. So we're beginning, it's going to week three, we're beginning to, the model is beginning to lose a signal. Possibly it hints at turning a little bit warmer here through the middle part of uh, September, but there's not really enough there to work with to say that is what's happening. In terms of precipitation anomalies, they're looking very, very weak uh, as well. Again, no particularly useful signal uh, anywhere. I suppose it looks a little bit drier than average still across western parts of Russia down towards the southeast of Europe, so from the Black Sea down to Turkey and uh, Greece. It looks a little bit wetter than average, maybe, but it is a weak signal there. A little bit drier than average through northern parts of uh, France, uh, maybe still a bit wetter than average over Scandinavia. But again, these signals are so weak that. Um, there's not enough there really to say uh, what's happening into the second half of September. And then we go through to week four, week 39th of the year. This is from the uh, 23rd to 29th of September. So we find that these eastern parts of Europe are still looking pretty warm. In fact, it's going warmer there again into uh, the final uh, full week of September. Looks quite warm across southern parts of France down to Spain and Portugal. Uh, a little bit cooler than average to the north of uh, the UK and elsewhere just generally quite close to average. We might be seeing hints here that things are warming up in the second half of September. But again, it, it is a really weak signal. And the fact that eastern and northeastern Europe are generally the warmest places indicates that the pattern probably isn't changing all that much um, through this second half of September. Uh, precipitation will be finally from the 23rd, 29th of September. So it does look as though we're hinting at going drier here in the west of Europe. So slightly drier than average, close to the UK close to France, also out into the Atlantic. It looks wetter than average up across northern Scandinavia and into these east and southeast parts of Europe. The Mediterranean generally a little bit on the dry on side. Most places, though, coming out with no signal uh, once again, as we often see in week four. Uh, so it's a uh, fairly difficult um month to predict again as September often is. The first half of the month looking quite cool and changeable away from the east and the northeast of Europe. That's a clear trend that we've got here. Quite cool and changeable in the first half of September. Probably some hints that we're going warmer and drier in the second half of the month, particularly maybe for the last week. And that has been a consistent uh, theme over the past few months, that the warmest, driest weather has always tended to be occurring in the last week of the month for some reason. It's probably just a coincidence, but um, that has been the trend over the past few months. The hints are there, but we might do something similar to that for this September. Um, but all I say is, of course, the pattern is very much impacted by what's going on in the tropical Atlantic, and that's completely random because those storms haven't even uh, started to be generated yet, but are going to be probably through the tropical Atlantic through the second half of the month. So we should wait and see what's happening there, but certainly the first half of September still looking rather cool and unsettled away from the far east and the northeast of Europe, and then we wait to see where we're going 
in the second half of the month. Uh, this ties in quite nicely, I think, actually, with the September monthly broadcast that we've just uh, released. So no nasty surprises there from the ECM. Uh, we'll be back later on this afternoon with your week's 10-day video update. That'll be on the homepage. We'll include all our regular features. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.